the much anticipated AFL Women's League. Yeah, so we're not going to talk about each game in particular. We're more going to focus on the sport itself to start with. Obviously, it was a huge success in terms of numbers, in terms of the people watching on TV and the people actually at the game. They passed 50,000 fans for the first week, which is pretty impressive effort. Oh, yeah. Now, the tickets were free, but still, <laughs> that that is still an impressive effort for a first first ever round, I'm sure. I don't know what the numbers were for the VFL crowd numbers in their first round ever, but I don't don't no. imagine they would have been amazing. Um, but obviously, while that was amazing, the football itself... No. <laughs> Before we get into it, yeah. first we'll say we are we do support the women's league. We're not here to bag the women's league, but we need to face reality. Yeah, at the same it. time, we're not going to sugarcoat it because these these women are semi professionals. Exactly, they're some, not full time. So some of them wake up four in the morning. They they Drive live on a farm like four or five hours to get to training. Yeah, two three times a week. So we're not bagging the women. We're just discussing the league. Because we need to, you need to um, analyse the league. We need to be able to talk about the state of the league without it becoming, you know, a he said, she said yeah. kind of kind of mess. So obviously there was only twenty eight goals kicked in four matches, which that was the thing coming in. How many goals are going to actually be kicked? Each losing team only kicked one goal each. And, so, a, ma- hmm. and a massive stat is that there were thirty four goals in the EPL this week. <laughs> 34 goals. Yeah, well, that's yeah, so more goals in the EPL than the first round of the women's league. Now, I mean, the stat that a lot of people have thrown around is that the first VFL game back in 1897 was Fitzroy 49 to Carlton 16. The first game of the women's league was Carlton 46 to Collingwood 11. So obviously they are similar in terms of scoring and the scoring and the skill level will improve. It will improve over time when they get, they'll have more practice. There was like 200 debutants on the weekend. So obviously they're going to be super nervous. This was the first time they've ever played in front of probably more than a thousand or 2000 people. Not even. Yeah. Most of them, unless the ones who played in the exhibition games, but yeah, there's no denying. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging the fact that there's a huge gap in the skill level and the quality of the game between the men's and the women's. It's not going to be the same game. The skill gap will reduce between the two. It will get better. But there's no denying that there is always going to be a difference between the men's and the women's game. It's a different sport. It is the same, technically the same sport. But when you watch it, it's like women's tennis and men's tennis. They're the same sport, but when you watch them, they're completely Mm. different in terms of the style and how they play. Yeah, well, seeing women's tennis, they, they've, there's different rules compared to men's. There's two sets compared to three. max of three compared yeah. to five. Maybe, see, AFL women, maybe they need to change some of the rules, for instance, to increase scoring, have it, I don't know, a 25, in, 25 metres from goal is a six-point goal. Anything behind that, or further than that is nine points. Yeah, because there's not many. There's probably two or three in each team who could make a 40-metre kick. Otherwise, most of them, they set shots 30 metres. They're pushing to make the distance most of the time, which, again, will improve, but it's something that obviously they trialled the um, nine-pointer in the nab. Yeah. It could, could be a possibility to use that. And obviously, the star players, like the Vessios... Aaron Phillips from Adelaide, Daisy Pierce, Chelsea Randall, Katie Brennan, Moana Hope. She had a quiet game, but on she the was weekend, triple yeah, she was triple team. But those those girls are elite players. They are seriously good, and they're okay. the players that you know you would pay money to watch. The problem is to drop off between the two between or them. three stars and the rest of the team the in terms back, of yeah. skill level is incredibly noticeable. It's it's a massive drop off, and yeah, some I mean, it was some of the skills and there's certain parts of some of the games where it's like, it just turns into a bit of a rugby kind of scrap the ball forward, and and that's probably why they won't increase expand the league 
for maybe three years because they, can't. they just don't talent. have the talent. Yeah, not enough women yeah. out there good enough to play professional football. Yeah. It's just one problem is people who do like football or who love football will continue watching it and support it. But the people who, you know, they, it's they went when to the, the game. novelty factor wears yeah. off. So and what's going to happen to the league? Will they still be getting big crowds? Will people still be watching? Because for instance, in America, the XFL extreme football league, it was a, it was a business made by, um, developed by Vince McMahon, WWE owner mm. and CBS. And that flopped hard. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because it was supposed to be extreme football and the concept was, was good, but they didn't get NFL players. They got players who were fail, former NFL players, failed NFL players and players not good enough. So the league didn't live up to what was expected and after a year, it collapsed. Yeah, I mean... This won't collapse. No, this won't no. collapse. It'll just be if it can hold a fan base when, as we say, the novelty factor of it wears off. But at the same time as when we're not trying to bash bash the women here in any way. And we they do need a legitimate shot. This is something that you can't, even after one season, you can't say, oh, that's definitive how it's going to be. They need a sustained period to give it a shot. And if you don't like it... Don't watch it. It's okay. Exactly. You don't have yeah. to watch it. You don't have to like it. Um, but, but it has to be there. It has to be made yeah. this. It's this is this is for all the girls and stuff to live out a childhood dream that didn't exist when they were kids and for all their family and friends and fans who do want to watch it. So you don't have to watch it. It's fine to acknowledge that there is a huge gap between the men and the women's comp, but let's let the people who do want to watch it and all the girls who are playing, give them a shot and see what they can do. Yeah, and it's only going to get better because they've exactly. got academies now for thirteen-year-olds, yep. fourteen-year-olds. So they the in five years' time, the, it's going to be so much the better. Skill the skill level will dramatically level. improve. Yeah. And there's a lot more teams now playing at yeah. the local yeah, level. Yeah, at the local level. Yeah. So yeah. slowly they'll come through. The talent pool will be a bit larger. Yep. And then the gap between. They're the really best. good players, and your mid to low won't will, be so big. The gap won't be yeah, so true. large. 